This video right here will appear to be for a very small audience and it pretty much is geared to a very small audience. I'd like to thank Bear. I'd like to thank Blackie. I'd like to thank Dakota. Um, I'd like to thank Choir Boys Outdoors. I even want to thank the rest of the contestants, man, uh, of the, the knife contest for joining up. Last Chance Knives, congratulations, man. You made a killer knife, you won. I think that is excellent, I'm super proud of you. BC Gerbs and, and uh, Captain Electro, phenomenal job. I'm sorry, I don't know the other guy, Randy. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not really sure who he is. I've tried to find him on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, Randy, just let me know, man, if you happen to see this video. Um, but uh, there was some criticism uh, of the, what I call the amygdala. It's, it was the knife four. And uh, Dakota, you, you said if you, you know, constructive criticism, if, if um, th that you might bring something up. I've watched that clip three or four times, dude, and I'm, I'm not exactly clear on understanding. And please bear with me, man. That was like literally the second knife I made. So like, I'm not entirely, I, th I think you may be talking about the finger choil. Like, do you like bring the finger choil up or bring it down or, or is it the hump in the middle, you know, um, in between the finger choil and the handle? Uh, regardless, man, I want to hear it. You know, like I like so I want to put this this video out publicly. I could just share this video with just those three people and Scab or, or you know and the rest of the contestants. But I want to make it public because if anybody else has any criticisms, I'm all ears, man. I don't know what I'm doing. You know, like I I, I made that knife. Honestly, it took me way longer to make that knife than it should have. Um, you know, I probably got like 35, 36 hours in that knife. Like, so reproducing that knife will be extremely hard uh, for me. But like, but the uh, the thing is, is like I, I made that knife to fit my hand. You know, like perfectly. Like, because I don't have a knife that fits my hand perfectly. So I did make that knife for me. But to make it more user friendly, I'm all ears. Like, so if anybody, even if you weren't a judge, if you weren't a contestant, you. Like, if anybody that's watching this video that is familiar with the amygdala, and if you're not, I do have a couple of videos uh, posted below, like probably 20 or so videos back. I don't know exactly. But the, the way I spelt it was A-M-Y-G-D-A-L-A. -A. That's not the way I spelt it. Probably Pythagoras or something like, you know, somebody like that. Whoever, maybe it was Leonardo DiCaprio, man, when he was working for the Medicis in like 1600, you know? Um, not DiCaprio, <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, th thanks again for all the criticism. Blackie, I know you had some criticism too. If you, anybody has any additional criticism because it was rushed, I definitely want to hear it. Like, it doesn't have to be constructive. I, I don't care about, this, you know, like constructive, but when that knife comes back to me, I'm going to have, I'm going to have it, uh, I'm going to have someone draw it up in CAD and then I'm going to get some water jets. Um, or I'm gonna get it water jetted and get some blanks on the way. <clears throat> I think I could save a lot of time. Well, I'm going with New Jersey Steel Baron. So, um, I, and I'm, I'm thinking about using SUP 9 steel instead. It's like a 5160, so it's a spring steel. It's like, really, it's SUP 9 is a, another name for 5155, which is vir like, like virtually identical to 5160. And the only reason I'm thinking about going with that is because they have a special on, on the steel. Like, uh, I, ADC RV2, I've got no problem with that either. 5160, pretty good chopping steel. So, you know, for that knife, man, it was uh, uh, it was made to be beefy. It was made to be uh, uh, more uh, chopper friendly. The 90 degree edges, I, you know, I, it was a mistake. It, like, it wasn't an accident. I, I meant to, to do it. Uh, but it was kind of a mistake. I was I was going through the final touches of fit and finish, and I just couldn't help myself, man. Like I, I, I when I I rubbed my finger across there because I didn't have any jipping, and I felt that little burr on on the top of the spine, uh, from the like from where it was ground, like the surface grinder. Like I I had to knock that off, and when I did, I took the 90 away from it. I could have left a portion of it 90 degrees, and I, I actually thought about that, but. Um, the way it turned out, man, I just knocked the 90 off the whole knife just to make it kind of uniform. But other than that, man, I can't wait till next year. If you didn't compete this year, seriously think about competing next year. I mean, it, is, it was a blast, man. It was a life-changing experience, like, so far. I mean, like, you know, I, I, 
Um, I mean, you know, like as far as you guys that don't know, you know, I have purchased a two by seventy two grinder, a forge, um, anvil, a heat treat oven uh, that is leaking. So I've got to, you know I have to make some repairs to that. <clears throat> um, drill press, you know, like the basic stuff that you're going to need to make knives. And uh, I've been practicing. I haven't made anything uh, you know worth note yet, but keep an eye out because I'm going to, you know, and. Like so, it's. I mean, I, like I'm. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna start making some knives. You know, like I. Uh, I don't expect to sell anything for a long time. I expect I'll probably throw away the first, God knows how many knives that I that I try to attempt, or at least stick them in a oops pile and get back with them later. But um, like I said, I know it's not a typical video. <clears throat> I guess we can't really do a video without showing a knife, so I'm just gonna take this uh, Nkosi out of my pocket. That's my my carry today. I also have, it's in the back, sorry, it's a Worked Up Gear Camp Field Knife by Zeke Manacho. Uh, so I, I got it with me. I may have an opportunity to get out and chop some stuff here in a little bit. I don't know, I didn't expect to be stuck in New Orleans. Uh, so I'm in the city limits, the, uh, like the ninth ward to be specific. So I don't know if I really want to like be walking around here trying to chop on trees and shit, you know, like in the city limits. But anyway, thanks again. I had a blast. Uh, Scab, most definitely thank you. You know, like uh, it, the, this was uh, this was one of those things. Like you know, when you you mentioned the the knife contest, uh, I was like, that would be nice. That would be really cool. Like if I had the opportunity to be able to make a knife. And then, like when Hornbeak asked me, they said, "Are you going to make a knife for that competition?" And I was like, "Are you going to make a knife for that competition?" Because like that's for knife makers, you know. And he was like. No, I'm not gonna make one for the competition, but he, he said I think it's for like newer knife makers, you know. Uh, so like, I was like, oh, and he, I was like, why? Well, I, I wouldn't know where to start. And he was like, I can cover you, you know, like you can use my shop, and and I'll I'll point you in the right directions. So like, it was uh, you know, so thank you, Jed. Thanks to like thanks to everybody's shit, man. You know, like but especially thank you to everybody that made it possible but scab seriously dude without your push without you coming up with this competition whether you realize it or not i wouldn't be eight thousand dollars in debt right now so thanks man you know like you know all that machinery and stuff like and i've still got more to buy so i'll, I'll probably be thanking you all the way up to thirty thousand but uh <laughs> anyway i very much appreciate the the competition existing so I had the opportunity for Jed Hornbeak to ask me if I was going to make a knife. And like I said, knife number four, if you don't remember, there's videos below. Uh, we kind of go through why I designed it the way I designed it and all that stuff. But looking forward to any feedback that anybody has to offer, unless you're banned from commenting on the channel. That's only happened to a couple people. This last guy, he was... Uh, he was complaining because his wife was yelling my name out in Climax. And I, I don't have any control over that, man. You know, they want to come and start fighting in the comments, you know, because his wife, you know, like got a thing for me or something. I, man, she's only human, dude. She has eyes. Like, you can't really blame her, right? 